Hello everyone. So, the purpose of this particular video is not only to showcase an idea that we have, because this isn't like a finalized thing. I just want to get that out there. Disclaimer, right? Show an idea that we have, but um, also to just like discuss what's going to happen, right? Like how we're going to function with this channel. So, the goal is to be way more productive. That is truly the goal. Uh, and we are going to see if we get some assistance from other people, some friends, some family, yada, yada. But um, also, like I said, I've always wanted to introduce other games and other content to this page. You know, that was my original idea for this uh, channel was to have like, you know, multiple games and stuff like that. So there's, so there's like uh, something for everybody in a sense. And um, so, yeah, you're going to see... If I, could, I really want to find like an, another app game, I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm trying to find another app game, but if some of you, some of you may have seen it already, but there's gonna be more Star Wars, right? So instead of just instead of uploading a lot of things on the weekend, the goal is gonna be to do like double or maybe triple uploads. Depends on where we're at in the future. Depends on our schedule. Depends on you know a lot of things, but it's gonna be like okay. Let's see if we can get two uploads. So that way, if you're here for the video games, if you're here for the board games, if you're here for the card games, then, you know, um, just got to catch your time slot, you know, catch your time slot. And it's like, OK, five o'clock, 12 o'clock, yada, yada. This should be uploaded. So that's our goal for the future of this channel. And hopefully we can execute that well. Um, now, as for this Marco deck, my thought process when I came up with this build was to how should I say be very strong with the power reduction right have consistent access to the power reduction and the film package has a lot of that so I was like cool there's a searcher yada yada and what I love about Marco is um he he provides value to low drops so where Searcher Luffy in this deck would just sit there on the board doing nothing, I can now just Don X Marco, lower somebody, and then potentially swing on it with Luffy. So it's like, I, I love that about this leader ability is, yeah, he can provide value to a low drop. Um, What else? What else? So yeah, it was just, that was the gimmick of this build, just to have consistent access to some power reduction. And that way it'll be like, um, <clears throat> it'll be like, you know, Marco plus this, Marco plus this, Marco plus this. And we're essentially doing 4K to 5K power reduction to a character. And ultimately, right, let me say this, it would be more of a counterattack deck, right? Like if the opponent has arrested character, they, they're most likely not going to be able to save it with such consistent access to power reduction. So that's that's where my mind was. That's where my vision was for this build. Uh, it has been adjusted. I want to put that out there. The build has been adjusted and you know, we're still continuing to work on it. I, I did have a very glorious play. Um, this video wasn't recorded cause you know, have the, a laptop broke down on us. That's what, you know, uh, and I'm going to be like me on my personal part. I'm going to try to record things on my phone. Uh, my friend recently acquired another laptop. Um, and yeah, see how things work out. But getting to the point, uh, I was playing against a pudding player and they had uh, 12 drop big, I said 12 drop. Well, I guess I could kind of say 12, right? Uh, they had the 10 drop 12K power big mom. Um, I got them to swing at me with the big mom. Cool block, they were the blocker. And then I played Ein made big mom zero and then played um and then i didn't attack with my luffy the opponent was flabbergasted it's like they had to process what just happened <laughs> they had to like process what just happened and then just accept it because it's like yeah do you really want to lose two cards to, to block a, a luffy swing uh, a 3k power swing oh man so funny all right so yes Rayleigh is really good with Marco, um, an eight Don character leaves you Don to make combo plays. So you can just pre nerf a character with your leader and then come behind it with Rayleigh. And next thing you know, 
you're just taking out like an, an 8,000 body. There we go. So you're taking out an, an 8,000 power body. Very strong play, very strong wombo combos. What do we got? Well, we do have a blocker that can nerf by, but wait, do we have anything in our hand? So we don't really have anything in our hand. So we'll have to be very careful. Yeah, well, we would have to be very careful how we proceed. Now, if we had like a glorious sea quake or something, you know, things could be a little bit different, but sadly, that's not in the cards. Let me think to myself. So 5K, and then we got, we got another one drop. So then before, yeah, we could have just sea quaked. Yeah, yeah. If we had a sea quake in hand, we definitely could have just got that Zora off the board. And that definitely would have changed the, the, you know, this game immensely. But Zoro is an end game card. So he could potentially end this game right now. We do got two blockers to help us out in this situation. I'm sure the opponent's thinking about it. They, they want to see if they can confidently close this game out in this one play. It's like how much down they're going to want to put on anybody. So they're going to go for the seven. I respect it. See what we do. See if we uh, lose out on resources. See what happens. And then just go for the dedicated Zoro swings. So now with these Zoro swings, we 100% have no way to counter out. It's going to be all blocking. Well, low key. Oh, okay. So he decides to play it safer. That makes sense. I get it. Because essentially, if he's going for life, then he could just keep block. We can just block and we'll have. Okay, I don't. I'm not too sure anymore. I was trying my best to make sense of it. But hey, it, it kind of equates to the same thing. I guess that, you know what? I guess that's what they thought too. They're like, hey, the same thing is just going to happen anyway. They made sure to leave that one Don up. Yeah, we got to be careful. We play that blocker too soon. Minus six. So they're just 3,000 right now. Let's see if they're going to go for our leader. A lot of people. Okay, they don't. That's smart enough. So I'll still potentially Don X to catch the cycle. Do we have enough Don? Well, outside of a Hody Jones, things is looking okay. Oh, we got an ace. I would bottom deck. I was going to say I would bottom deck uh, one of the one drops because ace is a rush. So if we survive this turn, then you just play ace. Bonnie, let's see who, what can Bonnie get? Bonnie could get the A drop. They do have lots of cards in their hand, but I think that wouldn't be a good play. Okay, Bonnie gets a blocker. Interesting. Why is this, this looks like, this looks like we can win. Yep, always gotta leave Dawn up, huh? Sadly, we don't have the counter power. That would have been very effective if we had the counter power. Yeah, so I would have bottom decked one of the, uh, the like Ray's Max or Gordon, and then we, we would see a different card in hand at the moment. Well, we technically got some good swings. 
right now. Uh, this could potentially be game. It probably would have been game if it wasn't for Bonnie's leader ability. They got to make a tough decision. I realize an 8k, an 8K swing is almost the same as a 9k swing. And I do say almost. All right. I guess let me elaborate. It's like sometimes, oh snap! Boo! Boo! What the heck? Oh yeah, we would have won. Oh my god! What a answer! What a luck sack they called it. Do they still say Luxac? I don't know. That was back in my Yu-Gi-Oh days. Alright, well, we get a C-Quake. The app is apping. And we get multiple copies of the same card. Yeah, it's weird. Because, obviously, it's, it's... The funny thing about probability, it's not always the same. And that sounds stupid in itself, right? Like, what do you mean? That's a probability, duh. But I work with me here, right? It is probability in a computer. It's probably pure, perfect probability. You know? Just nice and clean. While probability in real life is completely different. So it's like the computer, it is in my head. It's how I rationalize what happens, right? Like, as we have... Three C quakes. We saw three of those two Ks. You know, just constantly seeing the same cards. Um, you know, the computer's probably looking at it, looking at it as, oh, okay, your your likelihood of drawing into this because you got this many copies and da 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 da. You know, that's probably how a computer might look at it. I don't know. Oh, you know, I don't know if computers have pure organic randomness, like to the complete fullest. Right. Or if the computer looks at it, as we got four C quicks or if the computer looks at it as the odds of drawing this and drawing that because you have so many copies, I guess, like, I don't know. Anyway, so wait a minute. let me just let me just say what I got to say. So when you're shuffling, you're, you're you are most likely not going to experience this like you are just most likely not going to experience this type of uh, sequencing, these, these draws. Uh, no, let me not say it like that. That sounds too strong. Y'all know what I mean. Y'all card game players. What am I doing? I'm overextending my explanation. Yeah. You know, in real life, things will be different. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's what we got to do is like start recording some IRL things. It was, man, listen, One Piece was rough back, like a little bit ago. Now, like the print, the printing. Oh, we got a misplay. We got a misplay. What we should have did was uh well i guess two things i want to say with all these events in our hand we'll probably should be using marco to bottom deck some of them so we can get through our deck more efficiently but the other misplay here is uh we should have attacked with our blocker so that way they wouldn't have a target to rest and we could have got rid of um their basil hawkings for just one sea quake as opposed to burning two now it's funny because we see we can't um we can't uh summon the law because the law would give the basil the target that it needs. See, with no targets, basil would just get KO'd. So that's a, that's what that was. We should we should have attacked with our character and we would just uh, we'll still have another C quake in hand. It looks like we're developing a law just to have a body out there. Keep the 2k in hand so that way we can have defense. Things are looking relatively bleak. Huh. Well, they locked down our leader. The only thing I could think of is swing with the law. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, swing with the law to encourage a counterattack, maybe. But they, they also got a leader, right? So it doesn't matter. Oh, okay. I was going to say save the ace. We're probably... Okay, maybe we're just setting up for game. Maybe that's what it is. 
Now I was thinking save the ace. So that way uh, you can counter swing on Del Flamingo if they attack with Del Flamingo. Have to take that one. So obviously looking at this build, there's just like too many of everything. It's like we got too happy with uh, constant power reduction. So trust me, this list has already changed. But like I said, the showcasing of, oh God, look at that hand. Ah, huh. yeah, we, we had a better board presence. This game actually could have, God, the app was apping to both players. What is, what is that? That's disgusting. Two 10 drop the flamingos, uh, three um, Hody Jones, two Zoros in hand. Like, eh, whew, my God, if we drew literally any better, they would have just lost with no hope. Like, what the heck? Anyway. So yeah, the you you know showcasing these videos is just kind of giving you seeing uh giving you guys an idea, showing you guys what we're thinking, and maybe you know it, it might intrigue y'all and y'all could come up with some sort of system on y'all end. That's kind of that's kind of what uh, the purpose is showcasing this. I, I think I want to say I think not every loss is is a is is bad in terms of information, you know. I know a lot of times uh, we want to showcase wins or any content creator wants to showcase wins. Well, hmm, let me let me think to myself. Let me word this as properly as possible. Most people want to showcase wins and make them look better. But for a deck, if you want people to understand how a deck is supposed to flow and what it's supposed to do, then, yeah, you're going to want to record a win. It makes it easier for the audience to digest like, oh, this is the route that the deck wants to try to do. God! Damn, they just played three. Anyway, so this is the route that the deck wants to take to achieve victory. Okay, this is what the deck wants to do to achieve victory. And a lot of times losses don't show that. But what I'm doing here is just showing you like, hey, this is kind of the idea. Like, look at all this power reduction in this in this kit, you know, and just comboed with the leader. It's just so so basically, and that's why I say counterattacking is very strong with this deck. Because obviously, if you if they got a rested target, you're gonna nerf it by potentially 4K so easily, like just to, just to develop your board. But you know what's weird with this app, right? I'm be honest with you, we've barely drawn that law. For some reason, the app doesn't like letting us draw the four drop law. Uh, we've added Zoros to a newer version of the deck. Um, you know, trying to ha help the early game as po as much as possible. Um, because we felt that this, like originally it was like a mid game, late game style deck, right? And, uh, cause you know, with, with so much power reduction, we're like, well, the leader can probably counter swing on a lot of things alone. Um, once you get the, the mid drops to the high drops, it's like anything they play, you're probably going to take it off the board, whether you're attacking it or using an effect, you know, that, that, that was the mindset. But it gets weird if the opponent's not attacking or, or or even summoning. Sometimes things get weird. But yeah, we noticed at least when while playing the app, it was just we were just not getting. Let me stop just talking about the app and its uh, draw outcomes. Let me let me just say in general, we noticed that we wasn't drawing into um, any uh, any laws or any decent. Timings was also off. The opponent wasn't giving us targets. Like, here's a match where now you see that whole board is rested. And it's like, okay, cool. We just got nothing but attack targets right now. So we get to have fun. You know? That's what, we're going straight for the ace. See, we get to just have fun right now. Pick the strongest characters to just lower their power. And now we can use our searcher to swing over things. You see? That board is going to be gone. Just like that. Too much of a difference in power. Otherwise, they would have to like be willing to sacrifice a lot of cards out of hand. That's hilarious. Oh, no, I thought it was going to use Raise Max to get a swing. I would have respected that. That would have encouraged one card out the hand, to be honest. But then that would put out Raise Max in jeopardy. But anyway, where are we? So it's like, okay, we got to add some stuff to help our early game, which is what we did. Um, deck plays a little bit better. 
but I still feel like I still feel like the early game needs to be more improved because it, I don't know, it's weird. I mean, still, it's just luck of the draw. Like, you can't escape that when it comes to a card game. You can't escape luck of the draw. But I'm just like, yo, we got killers, kid killers. We got Zoros. We got four drop, uh, what's his name? Uh, <laughs> Law. You know, it's like, come on now. And of course, blockers to block and stuff like that. But it's like, yo, where are they? Where are they? A lot of times we just, you know, get the high end or the, the, the one drops. And it's just weird. It's just, it's just a weird outcome. Nothing, you, you know, nothing much we can do about it. It's just, it is what it is. Oh, we're going for Rayleigh. Well, look at that. Bottom deck and iron. There you go. And yeah, you see, it's just, that's pretty much it. They like anybody that has a rested character against this deck is losing it. Whether it gets KO'd from an effect or you get to attack it. The power reduction, because the, the consistent power reduction available in this kit is just wild high. And I, and I feel like there's a mix. Like you could blend um, the White Beard Pirates with the film package. I feel like you could blend those two. And, uh, make something devastating question mark i don't know it just feels like it could be done but i don't know if they can but yeah hopefully this inspires you guys uh to come up with something because like i said that's the only thing that feels funny it's like dag the more i add for the early game the less i'm gonna have in general and yet do i not have enough for the early game question mark like i don't know maybe you guys can share uh I don't remember the deck list fully. I'm already in the middle of uh, commentating this video, so I would have to <laughs> go and check. But um, you know, we we get outside of because the blockers. We also got the blockers, right? So it's like a mix, right? That's where my brain is at. It's like we, we got blockers to play, and then we, we're, we're supposed to have our four drops and three drops to play. Like you know, like that's our early game. That's what I'm trying to say. And it's like it gets weird. So that we do have targets for the early game. It's just a lot of times we're getting 2K counters or big drops. So that's that's where we're at. So you got to count. We got two Zeros, 2K killers, four Laws. Um, what's like four Shariahs? And then I can't remember right now. Forgive me off the top of my head. Can't remember anything else. But that that sounds good unless I'm just bugging. I just can't remember what else is in the build. Ugh. And then low key, we even have 2Ks that we can play. Like, look at that Beppo. <laughs> you know? Get that power reduction. Let him take something off the board. And then you would think with cycling. Bowl, but you know what? That's another thing. Sometimes you can't be... Uh, well, there's a word for it, right? You can't be too eager to play certain cards. Sometimes you just gotta let it go. So that's something that's a learning thing, right? It's like, ooh, I wanna keep Rayleigh, right? Even though it's like it's not time for Rayleigh. You're gonna ruin your whole map right now if you try to keep the Rayleigh, you know? Just I'll just use him as an example. I'm not really saying that he's put us in a bad position. I mean Rayleigh is just super helpful. Like low key, I'll probably Keep them in my opening hand. It's too good. Hmm. Yeah, we could probably. What can we do? I'd be thinking that fire fist can kill too. We could definitely take out the blocker with just the one fire fist. Oh, for a second, I was looking at the ace because the ace is, uh, you know, quick, but it doesn't matter. Now that I think about it, with literally five cards in hand. Yeah, with five cards in hand, we can just get rid of their blocker and Don stack and swing. Oh, 
Oh, they let's see if they have a defensive event. The best they probably. Oh. Okay, doesn't matter. G G. Please give us a sub. <laughs>